The Love Doctors, Love Doctors, you are the love gurus. My girlfriend and I have been long distance since last summer when I moved out of state to take my dream job, but now she's basically saying, move or it's over. I would much rather she comes to me. I have a better paying job. How do I explain that in a way that doesn't take away from the fact that she has made a life for herself also? I don't know. That's hard. I, how do Just because you have a better paying job, are you happy there? Where you live? Yeah. I mean, Sounds like sound he is. Keen on leaving, yeah. Yeah. I don't I think you just say we should talk about the location. Like I think we both need to consider where we're moving. Let's do a pros and cons list. Let's uh I'm I'm curious with this as well. Is this a situation where you've maybe lived the place you grew up the entire time? Oh, like, let's sure, say in this case, yeah. say like you were born and raised in Fargo, you've been in Fargo your whole life, you don't want to leave, but your girlfriend who also maybe was Born and raised Fargo, moved and decided she loves this not living where she grew up and was raised and doesn't want to go back to it, which has its appeal too. And I would say if you guys don't are on the same page with that, where like you're like, I love living where I grew up. She's like, I hate living where I grew up. That relationship probably is not going to work out in the long haul. Yeah, I mean, there is a chance and it, it kind of sucks, right? But there's a chance that. You know, she left, and she didn't just leave here, but she also left you and realizes, you know, I don't necessarily mind not seeing this fella every day. Mm-hmm. And she's probably kind of in the mindset where, I mean, if she's able to say you're you're either coming here or we're done, I don't know how interested she really is in you because she's totally prepared for you to be like, yeah, you know, I'm not coming. If she ultimatum, do you like that? I'm, I'm not sure I would move for somebody like that because she's already decided, like, it's yeah, okay if you don't true. move there. She already doesn't care if you come. She did kind of ultimatum. She ultimatum. She literally ultimatum. Mm-hmm. That is, yeah. I would say it's not fair that you're not giving me a choice. It's either I'm coming there or we're done. We need to have more discussion. And if you're not open to that, then I do think this relationship is done. Yeah, I mean, I think it makes it really hard when, I mean, she's basically said it's this or that. Like those those blanket ultimatum situations, I, I never see work out very well. Mm-mm. You know? And next up, this one kind of hits close to home. It kind of hurts. Love doctors. Love doctors. You know, the love gurus, it's going to hurt you too, just so we're clear. Me? Yeah. Uh, I've been dating the same guy for about four years, and I've always, always loved him, but I've watched over the past couple of years as he's lost hair after hair after hair after hair, and it's getting to the point now where he barely has any left, and it hurts to say this, but I'm not as attracted to him without hair on his head. Would it make me super, super superficial to walk away? Is it something that takes time? Like To get used to it? Like when someone shaves their beard, and you're like, whoa, you look like a baby. Yep. And it like kind of shocks you at first. Give it some time. I think you'll get used to it because you didn't just fall for this person based on all their looks. If you did, all that hair for, yeah. Something else we got to talk about. Yeah. You like them for your personality. You need to remind yourself why you fell in love with this person. And it will just take some time to get used to. In, have you even really brought it up? Most guys like uh, the with the slow fade. Like I know yeah. you were probably more like me where you like you saw it going and you just thought, that's all hey, she no. wrote. She's gone. Uh, they have kind of are just holding on to it. They probably already know what's going on. There's also, too, a million products out there that, like, a mm-hmm. million ways you can get your hair back if you really want to. And you, for all you know, probably maybe talk to him about it yeah. because uh, he's probably just thinking that's not something you or him want to waste money on. Like, if I brought it up with my wife, she'd probably be like, why would we spend money <laughs> on your hair? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, there's not much to save there, huh? Yeah. No. Yeah. And finally, love doctors, love doctors, you are the love gurus. My gentleman loves doing DIY projects. The problem is he's not very good at it, and I'm never really happy with the end result. If we're going to remodel our home, I'd rather it's something we're happy with. How do I explain to him I think we need to hire a professional without hurting his feelings? You need to stop this right away. (laughs) I grew up with a dad who thought he could do (laughs) DIY projects, and he would take apart a sink or do something crazy And then you couldn't use that sink because he would get frustrated and overnight we would have to leave it the way it is. And he would leave these notes that you couldn't read and would be like, please do not turn on water. And then you're like, what am I supposed to do, Dad? (laughs) I go to the bathroom. You need to end this right now and just say, I appreciate you trying to help. But to get those results and to get it done correctly and faster... I think we need to hire someone. You need to do this right away or this is going to continue for the rest of your life. Yeah, there's certain things like DIY you can get away with that you can just get away. And there's other things where you got to, you just have to know the limit right here. Like your guys just got to know his limit of where it goes from. I can maybe tackle this to I'm definitely going to pay someone for this.